Paulina then ordered some slow and solemn music which she had prepared for the purpose to strike up. So uh, as Paulina had made all the arrangements in time, so she ordered the musicians to start playing a very slow and serious music in the background which she had prepared for the same purpose. And to the amazement of all the beholders, the statue came down from off the pedestal and threw its arms around Leonte's neck. And to the amazement of all the people who were looking at the statue, the statue came down from off the pedestal. It came on the floor and what it did, it threw its arms around Leonte's neck. The statue then began to speak praying for blessings on her husband and on her child, the newly found Perdita. And then the statue started speaking. And what um, words came out of the mouth of the statue? Uh, prayers and blessings for her husband and for her newly found daughter. No wonder that the statue hung upon Leonte's neck and blessed her husband and her child. So it was... Uh, no uh, wonder and no matter of amazement that the statue uh, became alive and it came down. No wonder for the statue was indeed Hermione herself, the real, the living queen. It was uh, no matter of amazement because uh, the statue was not uh, something uh, static. Rather, it was the living queen herself and Paulina had um, made a stand over the pedestal for the same purpose there was some reason behind it paulina had falsely reported to the king the death of hermione so this important point has been um, exposed just at the almost at the end of the play thinking that the only means to preserve her royal mistress life and with the good paulina hermione had lived ever since so what happened uh, the time when Leonte was in a great fury and uh, jealousy and anger had made him blind. So Paulina made a decision as she was a very wise woman. So she just thought of uh, saving Hermione's life. So in order to save her life, in order to preserve her life, she declared her as dead. So from that time, the queen was living with Paulina, never choosing Leonte should know she was living so leonte did not know at all until this time that her his queen was alive till she heard perdita was found for though she had long forgiven the injuries which leonte had done to herself she could not pardon his cruelty to his infant daughter so as paulina was very wise so she did not disclose the news of the um um of the uh, of of the fact that uh, the queen was alive until she heard the news that uh, Perdita was found because when uh, she received the news that Perdita was found only then uh, she decided that now this was the time she should disclose the news that the queen was also alive so uh, the queen had long forgiven the injuries and the pain which th the king had given to her but uh, she was not able to forgive um, uh, the, the fact that uh, he had been very cruel to their daughter his dead queen thus restored to life his lost daughter found the long sorrowing leonte could scarcely support the, support the excess of his own own happiness so uh, leonte's happiness uh, knew no limits as his dead queen was restored to life and his lost daughter was found so uh, he was so happy that he uh, he was just uh, unable to control his feelings.